Hi everyone, this is Queen of Light 1111. I am actually recording this reading uh, for YouTube through my phone because my laptop decided to act up during this um, whole process and I wanted to be sure to get the, um, the messages out to all of you. So what I've done here is I am separating all of the elements um, for the Divine Feminine. So if you are a Divine Feminine Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, this is where you are currently in your connection today. So this is for the Queen of Earth. And what I've done here is I have the overall energy, and then I have how the Divine Masculine is viewing the Feminine. I have how the Divine Feminine is viewing the Masculine. The current energy of the connection, the blockage, and then future future energies, okay? And then an advice card. So what we have here for an overall theme for the Queen of Earth's uh, Twin Flame connection is destruction, mute, and communication. And what this is, um, what this means to me is that a tower moment occurred in this Divine Feminine's Twin Flame relationship. And there is no communication at this time. People are mute. And uh, communication is either desired or will occur. And so we'll kind of look at this as we go through the spread, okay? So here we have how the Divine Masculine is viewing the Divine Feminine. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Magician. And so he really feels like he wants to be able to manifest something new, manifest uh, with this magician energy, a new beginning. It wants to, and he wants to provide a new offer to her. But with this three of wands energy, you know, he feels like he's sending something out and he's waiting for it to come back. So he's kind of in a position of pause at this time. And this probably has to do with giving this offer and with communication. So at this time, the way that he's viewing his feminine is he wants to be able to manifest a new beginning, give her a solid offer, but he is waiting, okay? So with the feminine, you know, she's operating in the five of swords, the high priestess and justice. And again, this is telling me Something occurred here with the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is a car card of conflict. It's a card of, you know, arguments, disagreements. It's also the card of like public shaming. So if there was an argument or something or someone did something in this relationship and it was found out, you know, through public or by others, this Five of Swords energy is there and it's a challenging one. And so therefore she's in the High Priestess energy and she's looking for justice. The High Priestess energy is one that... You know, she is wise. She knows what's going on. She is not communicating at this time. Obviously, with the mute here, she's not communicating at this time. But she is waiting for her justice. She is waiting for the scales to be balanced around this Five of Swords energy and around this destruction that occurred in the relationship. So where are they currently today? They're in the Nine of Wands energy, Three of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. So what I'm getting from this here with the Nine of Wands, Three of Cups, and Seven of Swords is... You know, they want to keep going. They want to keep going. They're trying to persevere. But at this time, they're probably seeking refuge with their friends and family and just really spending time with um, with people that, you know, and having a good time. They're just not obviously together. They are, um, you know, apart because of the Seven of Swords, which is about some sort of deceit or betrayal. So instead of addressing it at this time, they're they're trying to keep going in this relationship, even though they're apart, but um, are really finding solace in family and friends or, you know, even other partners. Take that if it resonates. The uh, blockage in this in this um, connection is the god of vulnerability. It's Achilles. And so, you know, if you know about the Achilles heel, it's about a perceived weakness. And so what I'm really getting from this is that this couple is um, really suppressing their vulnerability. There are emotions, there's sadness, there's, you know, anger, there's resentment. There are Feelings here of um, that people are suppressing and trying to be strong instead of being vulnerable and communicating. So vulnerability is a blockage here in this uh, divine feminine's connection with her uh, divine masculine. So 
vulnerability is required for this couple to uh, continue to move forward in their connection. So with the future energies here, sorry about that, the future energies, we have the moon, the page of wands, and the six of swords. So the desire here is really to move forward into smoother waters, move into better times. But with the page of wands and the moon, you know, there's, there is a desire to communicate, but things are still being kept secret, right? Feelings are still being kept secret. And it's because of this vulnerability. It's because of the destruction card. It's because of this five of swords and the seven of swords. People are still with this moon energy operating in the dark, keeping things to themselves. Everything is not in the open. And so while there is this desire to communicate, move forward, you know, start something new, you know, they're not quite ready just yet. But with, I, when I asked for the advice from, angel, from the angels about this connection, I said, what's the advice for this couple? Like, what's the advice? And it's about success. And through hard work and determination, right, we have the nine of wands, which is all about perseverance and moving forward and keep, you know, to keep on pushing on, you know, they will have success. But at this time, they're in a very challenging part of their cycle. And the bottom of the deck energy is the queen of swords. So people need to come forward with truth, with honesty, with integrity. And um, if that is done, then we can eliminate this blockage of vulnerability and start this cycle and communicate. So that is the quick divine feminine uh, for the queen of earth. That's their divine connection. That's where they are today. I hope that resonates. Again, it's a general reading. So it may not resonate with everyone. But um, if you are, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me about your specific journey, please visit my website, queenoflight1111.com. Thank you.